Pete Paschal, tech editor of Mashable. I'm here at Qualcomm's event to show off the Snapdragon 820 chip, the chip that's gonna power a bunch of flagship smartphones in 2016. Let's see what it can do. We've all heard of facial recognition, but the Snapdragon 820 jacks it up a notch with object and scene recognition in real time. Just hold your phone up and it can tell if you're looking at a beach scene or a sushi dinner. Connection not fast enough? The new chip supports both next-generation Wi-Fi, that's 802.11ad in case you're curious, and multiple user connections. Of course, you also need a new router and a beefy internet connection to really use it, but baby steps. The Snapdragon 820 can create surround sound from a device's speakers. The sound gives the illusion of both direction and distance, making it perfect for movies and, I don't know, virtual reality? Speaking of VR, Qualcomm was clearly thinking about virtual reality when it created the Snapdragon 820. The CPU and graphics processor can work together to render a highly detailed 3D environment in real time. Ever have that problem where your finger is slightly sweaty so it screws up the fingerprint sensor on your phone? Qualcomm's developed a sensor that actually gets more accurate when it's wet, and it'll launch alongside the new Snapdragon. Dual image processors mean the Snapdragon 820 will let a phone capture better images in low light, even 4K video. It'll also be able to shoot 25 megapixel shots rapid fire at 30 frames per second. Remember, it's up to manufacturers to build the actual phones, so your mileage may vary on some of these. But with better chip tech, the future looks bright for smartphones.